Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Prax, and I'm certified in functional neurology, and I specialize in peripheral neuropathy, and I'm glad you contacted our office regarding our reversing peripheral neuropathy program. The purpose of today's video and subsequent videos is to give you real good tools, tips, and techniques that we use in our office to help you and our patients reverse their peripheral neuropathy. First and foremost, how do we definitively diagnose whether you have peripheral neuropathy or not? Well, first thing we do is we take a very detailed history. We ask you lots of questions about where is your neuropathy, how long have you had it, is it just in one limb or another. The, the initial examination and history is all about finding out, do I think I can help you with our neuropathy program? But we also then turn to the Toronto Clinical Scoring Index. And the Toronto Clinical Scoring Index is a method of analyzing four or five of the different nerve receptors in your hands and in your feet to determine, do you have neuropathy? And if so, we can quantify it and figure out exactly how bad it is and how much nerve loss there actually is. So what we test are the sensations of cool and cold, heat, uh, light pin prick. We look at uh, light touch and then we check vibration and reflexes. Uh, we may take an x-ray in the office or if you've had an x-ray, we re would review that. We do have access to UVA and Martha Jefferson uh, where you may have already had an EMG, an NCV, and possibly even an MRI. So we would utilize all of those different uh, diagnostic tools to figure out if you have neuropathy and if so, is this the neuropathy that we think we can help out with. Now, our office does have an 85% success rate, and what I want to talk about is exactly how we do get that. Well, first of all, I only accept the patients who I really, really think I can help out. So there are certain cases that I do not think I can help out with, and if you're one of those, I would let you know for sure. One of those being a severed nerve. If it's a severed nerve, really probably the tools that we have is not going to, it would help, but it's probably not going to really help you um, to reverse that. That just takes a lot of time. Um, but, but for those people who I do think I can help out with, primary one would be peripheral neuropathy coming from diabetes, chemotherapy induced peripheral neuropathy, spinal stenosis induced neuropathy, um, and another one is not so common, but it would be heavy metal poisoning. And those are some of the main causes that we can help out with. If you have a neuropathy that comes from something else, you would let us know in the history. And again, the purpose for me initially is to figure out if I can help you out. The next thing that we would do and that should, I think should be done in any program would be to set goals. So when I say an 85% success rate, am I saying that I get 100% of all of the symptoms gone? No. But in some cases we do, but not all cases. So sometimes there's so much nerve damage, the patient and I would sit down and we draw out reasonable expectations to get them functioning and feeling a lot better. Well, I do also want to give you one nutritional tip. The one tip that I find to be very, very important is sugars, or really the reduction, or better yet, the elimination of sugars. Diabetes neuropathy is the number one cause of peripheral neuropathy. And if there's anything you get out of today or anything you want to apply, anything you want to try, the biggest bang for your buck will be to reduce, reduce, reduce your simple sugars. So the simple sugars come in the obvious things like sodas and sugars in the coffee. It comes in Snickers bars and ice creams and we all know that already. But also what we need to look at are the simple and refined carbohydrates that are found in your breads, pastas, bagels, potatoes, uh, and other foods that are really refined and broken down that frankly aren't meant for human consumption. So I want to keep it brief. We'll be sending you more of these videos. Each one of them will have a gem that hopefully you'll take and apply and can help you to begin to reverse your neuropathy. If you're able to use these tips and you are finding that you're reversing your neuropathy, even without consulting me, I would love to hear back from you. That would be excellent. If you're having challenges and you want to consult or you want to work with somebody who can help really figure this thing out and get you on the fast track to recovering and reversing your neuropathy, as always, feel free to contact us. I'd be happy to do a 15-minute free consultation. We could do it on the phone, but I like when you come in, I show you the office and I show you some of the tools and tips that we use here in the office. Um, but feel free to give us a call. We're at 434 977 5433. 
I hope this tip has been helpful and I look forward to talking to you and teaching you more in a few weeks.